You okay? Good day? Hey guys, what's going on? Third Street Reactions here. Rebecca Shane. Zach. We're back with our new show, The Bad Batch, episode two. The first episode was a two episode premiere. Two, so this is either episode three. two or three. So last time we opened with, they were assigned Order 66. Yeah, oh. They were meant to kill the young. Kane and Jarrus. Yeah, I want to call him Cad. I don't know why. Cad? Cad Bane. <laughs> his name is stuck in there. But nope. But Kanan. They were, like that character to keep watching. Yeah, they're instructed to kill, well, he was. they're meant to kill Kanan. Yeah. Along with his master, who was Mace Windu's. No, his master was Depa Biloba, and, Mas and Mace Windu's apprentice was Depa Biloba. That's what I meant. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And yes. Okay. Uh, so Mace Windu's apprentice, Depa Biloba. Yes. Was his master. Mace Windu's apprentice, Depa Biloba was Kanan's master. Yeah. She was killed by the clone, the regs. And, and kind of like a... The bad badge were kind of like, hey, what the fuck? Yeah. And, but it turns out the crosshairs, right, that his chip was somewhat functioning. Yeah. So he was kind of like, hey, we should do this. But they were Good kind of... soldiers follow orders. Yeah, but they were kind of like, what the fuck, man? We never followed orders before. Yeah. Why well, you want to start now? Yeah, why now? We're killing kids. Yeah. So he had a hard on for it. And then you find out that they augmented his chip's abilities later yeah. in order to make him a little more subservient after Tarkin showed up on Camino yeah. to kind of supervise the cloning program. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, you know, we could have recruits. We don't do we really need the expenditure of yeah. having a clone army. Which, I mean, I mean, we know in hindsight that it seems like, because we know how badass the clones are, mm -hmm. we know how non-badass the Stormtroopers are later. Yeah. So it was an oversight. Although... Yeah, I, I've watched videos on like when regime when there are regime changes. Yeah, you like make there's all kinds of military changes. Like they, you know, what I mean, they do all kinds of crazy shit. Mm -hmm. A lot of it's budgetary too. It is. I mean, there aren't that many cases where you look at what happened with, let's say, the Russians mm -hmm. in the Bolshevik Re Revolution. They were, they revolutionized the population to, you know, the, hey, the old Imperials, they suck. Yeah. Like what you've been living under. Mm -hmm. Well, it just turns out it sucked even more later. Yeah. And it really didn't do a lot for them um, internationally, let's say. Yeah. As, as opposed to domestically. Domestically, they were able to control their subjects, but internationally, they didn't really gain a lot of headway, and then eventually it collapsed on itself. Yeah. The same thing happened with the Nazis but the Nazis were a little different because Germany was on the down and outs. They didn't have a military after the First World War, yeah. even though they had a strong really? military then. But I, I, think, I think they might have had a military, but they had very, very severe restrictions okay. on what they could have and what they couldn't have. You know, Hitler basically said eventually at one point, he said, fuck that. And they started making, they started manufacturing tanks and all this other shit, and they started just revolutionizing their military. Well, why, would the, why would the state put restrictions on its own military? It didn't. The Allies did after the First World War. Oh. So I'm saying their, their situation was different. Okay. And after they started revolutionizing the military, they gave the German people a little more pride in their situation. Yeah. And they kind of they gave them um, their second breath, so to speak. Like okay. Second wind. Second wind. I never, and, heard of, I never even heard of second wind until I was like 26 years old. Really? Never heard it? Or, and definitely never used it in something. Yeah. Like you, get, like you get your second wind. Yeah. Like you've been at it all day. You... Like how most people are, are, like for I, for instance, I'm, I'm a morning person. Yeah. I get up early. Yeah. I'm probably the most productive earlier in the day. And as the day tails off, I start to get tired and I guess I go to bed fairly early. Yeah. And then you get a but, second but you wind when you come wind. here. You get a second <laughs> wind and you can get at it and be productive again. Yeah. So it's Germany got a second wind under false pretenses. And well, yay for them. <laughs> like a false, false heroism. And yeah. then it uh, led to their utter destruction. Yeah. Well, not utter, I guess. But like, we got uh, Mercedes. Here. We got Hugo Boss out of it. <laughs> yeah, so we got, you know, the good things came out of it. Uh, yeah, Hugo you know, Boss making his awesome uniforms. If you want to get into real dark humor, we can go to Advil, but uh, we well, won't go there. Okay, <laughs> yeah, you have to tell me off camera. Uh, we also had a quick appearance by Saul Guerrero. Saul Guerrero was yeah. there. He confronted them. They were sent by the Empire to prove their loyalty yeah. to snuff out what they, like, he just assumed it would be clunkers clankers right yeah droids yeah turns out they were insurgents but turns out those insurgents were just people trying to survive yeah even though saul you know has been a fighter yeah you know, all his life they're, they're rebels they're, they're rebels they're uh they're like kind of the the petri dish of the rebellion yes and they were confronted with that scenario they kill these people in crosshairs like yeah come on what the fuck are you doing let's kill them yeah, we'll what's wrong with you yeah and he's you know wait a minute but we need to find we, out what the hell's going on yeah they go back to camino uh they get omega i have these series about omega I know season three is currently airing. I haven't watched it because I'm going to go through it with you. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering what makes Omega special. Well, she's a girl. Yeah, but it's got to be more than that. I know. <laughs> uh, so uh, so I'll, I'll just say what I think, and I'll but, but I'll spoil the fact that it hasn't answered it, or maybe it never will because maybe I'm wrong. I think she is designed to be force sensitive, and okay. uh, that but makes the sense show because of how they alluded to what she can predict. 
and how like, how. That, she okay, that's the thing. Yeah. So before Hunter, sorry, before Cro- people are gonna get on me about this. Before Crosshair even comes, she turns her head and she's like, "I don't think we'll have to wait long." Mm. And then he comes to the door. Well, and there's even, been even one. The way, or- even the way she talked to Crosshair in the cell. It's not your fault. Yeah, she's like, "I know what you're gonna do, but okay. I know it's not your fault." Okay, so that might have been the fact that she knows about the chip, but I don't know. I can't remember. Maybe. Yeah. But. It just seemed, um, yeah. But yeah, no, it didn't seem like, oh, hey, you know, you, you got this going on with you, like Donnie, you yeah, Ninja Turtles, like, you know, you like an egghead, yeah. It just like, lays out the facts. She was more like a little more understanding, a little more like, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't say motherly, but that's like a description of like kind of the tenderness, yeah, of how she approaches it, yeah. Okay. And so I, I feel like L- le- 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 leading to the fact that maybe it's more of a. A feeling that she's yeah, uh, th- yeah than, than like at. a calculated and, yeah. thing. Okay. Like ah, you got that chip, man. I mean, it's it's yeah. fine. Yeah, <laughs> it's of the New Zealand accent. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do that very well. I, I have to hear it more. I don't listen to it enough. I hear Tamara Morrison. Yeah, and then I can just do a Tamara. George Morrison. gave me a great gift. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> guys, before we jump in, if you want to support us, uh, first of all, appreciate you guys. Everyone coming over from Clone Wars. People are probably clicking on this, wondering why we're doing season three. It's because I want to go through it with Zach. That's why. Check out our Patreon. We have full length uncut reactions. We have the next four episodes on there now. And we also have full length. Oh, and I already said that. We have full length uncut reactions. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's jump in. Inspecting every corner of the ship while they tied her out. Hunter, she's a child. What are we going to do with her? Well, Tamara Morrison watches this. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Look at me there. I'm badass. (laughs) He does, like, he speaks to his teeth. I'm badass. I'm badass. Look at me, I'm a wrecker, I'm a hunter. Uh, so, recognize anything besides that guy? That thing was from fucking Geonosis, right? I th- okay, so we thought that in Clone Wars, but yeah. it's, it's 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 much smaller, so I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, but I wonder if they grow bigger. Yeah. It looks like it. So you'll recognize this in like two minutes, or t- 20 seconds. Maybe. I don't know, I was probably pretty drunk during most of these reactions. <sighs> <laughs> You might have been drunk during this one. What's with her? That's me yeah, a, she has that's to... That's me as a girl. Yeah. <laughs> Never seen anything like this, you know? It never gets old in Star Wars, like, to see a character see something for the first time. Like Luke seeing his uh, aunt and uncle burned up. Yeah, that was the, the first and last time <laughs> for that. That's what deserters do. Staying off the radar's not our specialty. And he's been doing it for years. And you trust a deserter? Well, why not? We're all deserters now. <laughs> that motherfucker is the only one, like, he looks nothing like the others. The nerdy one? Yeah. He said, we're all deserters. He's like, <gasps> so, see if you. What are we looking at? A booby trap. <gasps> Single trap. Boobies. Oh. Easy, Renta. Right what do we have here? More clones who've lost their yeah, way. Yeah, well, he was the dude. Yeah. yeah. He had a family there, right? Yeah, because it was that uh, episode where they're, like, they're breaking into the house and it was like the assassin ones. Yeah, and it he, was a hat. Right? Yeah. I see a few new faces. Echo and Omega. Cut and Sue. Sue, that was her name. Well, Crosshair. It's complicated. Sounds familiar. Rex told Taking us about the was turning against the Jedi. Yeah. Talk to Rex. He must mean the inhibitor chip. The what? The Kaminoans implanted them in the clones to modify their behavior. Behavior? You said the Rex were programmed, but you never mentioned a chip. Mom! Dad! There's a ship outside! You didn't learn letting your kids play outside? What is it? Oh, you yeah, didn't learn from the... the... <laughs> yeah. We never see kids around here. Come with us. Wait, is the Twi'lek gene the dominant one? Because that's, that's, in with Kane and, and what's her name Mary Elizabeth Winstead's kid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what it looked like in uh, Ahsoka actually. I thought he didn't have fucking tendrils. Yeah, I don't think. I don't he's think a kid. I thought it was, his skin. His kid's skin is a different color. Yeah. The Kaminoans don't create without a purpose. You all have one, so what's hers? Battling droids was easy compared to raising a child. You're all gonna like freedom. No, you can grow sideburns. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't have a choice. Camino wasn't safe anymore. Well, neither is Salukamai. Rex warned us of the storm that's coming. We can take you where you need to go. 
Nah, no wanted men. It's too risky. I have to do what's best for them. Like expediency versus yeah. You know what I mean, but yeah, like expedient, but possibly more dangerous. Yeah. Versus if you wait, it's more dangerous. Some farmer just booking, you know, public transportation, mm -hmm. right? I mean, he looks like the clone. That's the problem. He needs more of a beard. Yeah. He needs to look like that one guy from the Kenobi series. Yeah, he's a full beard. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah. He looks like us. Yeah. Does a ship track trapped in a tractor beam? I assume so, yeah. They started seizing ships about a week ago. Tagging them inside that impound lot. The stall's up ahead. Let's book the shuttle before we're spotted. So, where will you and your family go next? I suppose find a remote piece of land on a distant planet. That's all we really need. Didn't you do that here? <laughs> you want to know how to disappear? Put being a soldier behind you and make a new life for yourself. I need to book passage on the next show out of here. Those credits won't do you any good without a chain code. New galactic policy. Every Reminds me of, um, what was her name? Maud? Maud. No, or, Anna. Yeah, I knew about that one. Ma Andor? It's not Maeve. Yeah. They're registering people, too. Getting off planet's gonna be harder than I thought. That was a weak ass throw, like. Well, it was pretty strong. I mean, like, completely wrong direction, as I meant. It was like a weak move, not like a. I mean, it looked weak from yeah. her. We have to finish packing, but it's still early. Inside. Now. Where's Omega? She was right behind me. Omega! Got it! Omega! Don't move! The fucking thing could probably jump over the fence. Shuttle leaves in a few hours. We need to be on it. Mom! Mom! It's Omega! She went out past the fence! Jesus. <laughs> mm -hmm. What were you doing out there? I would have just got off this planet, anyways. <laughs> Cut nose. Mm -hmm. All in all, <laughs> you brainless? Much worse. Tech, you think you can forge some chain codes? I only learned of them moments ago. But yes, do it. <laughs> We're getting cut, Sue, and the kids on that shuttle. Imagine just being blasted with all this stimuli, mm -hmm. like, like, you know, blue sky, hey. green grass. Damn wrong off your head. Jesus. Yeah. Need another set of eyes out here. Almost forgot how good of a shot you are. Children will always find ways of getting. <laughs> Looks like her husband. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, the Rambo version of her husband. Like he's got hair. Like I'm saying. And you're right. She's not a soldier. Just give us some time. You two can give us something that that we can't. Is that what you really want? It's what she needs. It's ironic. Oh, no, Just give us we agree to stop at two. That's a saying. Like, three. <laughs> Ingenious. You could create a database to identify anyone in the galaxy. But where are we going to find the data for these chain codes and the disks? Already thought of that. Clones now control the spaceport. There we can tap into their network and replicate the codes. You're suggesting we call the authorities and have them seize our ship? That is exactly what I am saying. I guess if they think it's abandoned, that just might work. 
the actress is New Zealand. No, I mean, it's so it's, it's cool. I, I like it. It's just... It's a little stronger. It's strong. It's a very strong accent. Yeah. I don't like that. I can't replicate it. Yeah. <laughs> Cheek. Cyborg with that you. arm would just be so hard. To... You gotta get a hook, like hook. <laughs> yeah, you get something. <laughs> He's got a little pokey thing, like Shockwave and Transformers. He's like a you know, yeah little cannon. I love the details on their armor. Yeah, I mean the show just looks tremendously better. Yeah. But yeah, like that right there. Mm -hmm. Just you see the little grooves oh, yeah. and it scratches. And... Well, it's, it's... Of the skull, everything on it, the grooves. Yeah. The coloring overall is fantastic in this show. Look at the walls. Yeah. They're the same as his armor. Mm -hmm. it looks like somebody's painted them roughly. Yeah. Excellent. Just get a bunch. <laughs> oh. Bun face. Yeah. No, that's, no, no, that's not butt face. It's butt head, yeah. What is your status? In progress. The encryption shouldn't be a problem. I think the troopers would be like, hey, it doesn't look like us. Yeah, you yeah, figure the be. troopers would just be really good at recognizing. Well, he's got a fucking half his face is tattooed, too. Yeah. Everything will be okay. Hurry up. You get your bandana off. Yeah, I was just saying. <laughs> he's got. Have his face tattooed, and he's wearing a bandana. <laughs> Their working memory is not that good. I don't know what that's like. I want you to know that I remember that. I figured you would remember it. The problem is me remembering it. <laughs> Zach! <laughs> You're the one who told me about it, so I know you remember it. Yeah. Balls. This great plan of yours is looking really lousy about now. It's a great word. I need to use it more. Yeah, lousy. lousy. <laughs> well, in this episode of Archer, they talk about lousy and like Loatian, those bugs from. Uh, the chain codes are en route. Window Mega. By herself? You let her go by herself? They didn't know which bay to go to, though. They probably just knew who it was and what maybe, region. Maybe. They all sound the same. <laughs> well, I know, but they knew where his thing was coming from. If it, I thought was just never that good at yeah. determining these things. Well, oh, I kind of think they maybe they might have heard the blast. Listen to that motherfucker. Aw, he's a piece of shit. He's a rat. The, they're, I mean, he's letting. He's following law and order, Zach. <laughs> Fuck him. Fuck that dude. That clanker. <laughs> Thank you. Show me a chain code, citizen. Sure, I got it right here. Oh, right. Must be in this house. You can probably break the guy's necks if he's as strong as his age. Yeah. You know, he doesn't seem smart enough to really control his strength. That well. <laughs> What's so, the only thing he has to do, though, yeah. is be strong and control it. Time no, something's wrong. The torture droid. She should have been here by now. Stick to the plan, cut. Isn't he the one that was torturing the... No, yeah. he's branding no. him. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> I can't risk it. We have to find another 
Move along. Natalie's sad. <laughs> it really is, isn't it? The good people will give you the life you deserve. You have to go, Omega. It's for your own good. It's not really hold up to them get in front of you. That'd be hard. Yeah, I mean, she doesn't know. But if I were him, I'd be thinking, like, this is definitely for Omega. Well, yeah. Yeah, I mean. They're fugitives on the run from the fucking Empire. Yeah. Like, directly. Yeah. Give me one, it's fucked up. You got too close to your cell phone, it got demagnetized. It's, it's. I mean, I know the last couple seasons of the Clone Wars like really looked a lot better. Yeah, they elevated it. But uh, here, I mean, it, it's fluid. This show's great. Yeah, I love it. Like, the animation is a step above. Yeah. You know, and like, the, the, the coloring. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say because I probably don't know the right term for. It. Yeah, yeah. The, the last season of Clone Wars might look a little better than this because it was made after. I mean, over with the dark colors, like a very yeah kind of pastel like dark. Yeah. My thing is, is like, damn it, kid. you let that kid go. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna turn around. What the hell? Is there a problem? You look like a reinforcement to the impound dock. Carry on. <laughs> nah, he, he's got sideburns. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> look at tell. <laughs> We had a mustache. I mean, there's gotta be so much. Well, within the military, I guess they all. They, one thing they don't do is go facial hair. I know, but you just think that. I mean, yeah, you just. You know when you went on leave that time? Yeah. You grew a beard? Yeah. It looks like that! It's <laughs> 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 just like it. I prefer a lot of diversity with their looks, but how do you explain the receding hair? Yeah, I was thinking about that earlier. Look like, what you have to look forward to, boys. Yeah. <laughs> His is receding. Yeah, but like, you can say they're different, but the regular clones... Yeah, they all look the same. Yeah, they but should. They all kind of have... I was looking for it. You can't really tell with Hunter because his hair is down. I mean, yeah. He has the bandana on, but it's still down. But the other clones, all of them look like they have kind of... That's... Not quite as bad, but somewhat of a receding hair. Yeah. But if they're genetically... They're not twins. They're exactly the yeah. same. What are you doing over there? What, what buttons are you going to press? <laughs> uh, just looking around. Yeah. <laughs> all the buttons look the same. Yep. Okay. Uh, episode two. Mm -hmm. What do you think, dude? I really liked it. Yeah. I really like the show. I think it elevates, you know, the series. If you're going to go take it, like, say, Clone Wars, and this is just a continuation of yeah. it. Yeah. It elevates it in a very mature, excuse me, mature way. Yeah. That is beyond kind of what you're normally seeing and expecting from Star Wars. I agree. So the um, usual run and gun. There's droids and no oh, Anakin. No oh, oh, Obi-Wan. Yeah. They, you know, like, oh, chum. And they kind of, oh, no, the Dark Lord of the Sith. And yeah. that kind of shit. I mean, this just takes it to another level. Yeah. And I like it. I always, I mean, I've always been interested. I like I liked Django mm -hmm. back in the day when episode two came out. Yeah. And I liked Boba, even though before it was more like just in terms of looks like a lot of people liked him for. Yeah. Before he was given any lore. Yeah. But the militaristic side of it, the military 
military side of it, the technology. Like, that was really cool. And it's great to see that fleshed out in a way that, you know, I like the threat. I like Tarkin. So it's... it's What's was... great about this is it, it doesn't blow its load. I mean, I'm, I've only watched two seasons. Mm -hmm. You get some nice mid-level threats. Like, as far as I know, we haven't had, like, big baddies come in yet. Yeah. It's one of those things where it's like, you well, know... Tarkin's kind of like a Thrawn. I, yeah. He's just, he's a guy. He was, like he, he he was would... Thrawn before Thrawn. He yeah. was just, he's the face... Kind of the I'm trying to think of the word. I'm not gonna say replaceable, but he's he's kind of the, the bland, kind of cut out figure of what a military would be. Yeah. Whereas you know Vader, cookie cutter or whatever. Yeah, it's kind of like Vader is more like a Vader's uh, independent much, of that. Yeah, Vader's obviously much more. He's unique. Yeah, is what I'm trying to get at. He's unique. Whereas yeah. Tarkin is kind of you know you see the Nazi. Yeah. The Nazi on the poster. Mm -hmm. This is the Nazi villain. Yes. He's kind of like Eichhorst reminds me. That actor reminds me of kind of a, the the gaunt. Yes. The Tarkin look. Kind of, uh, it's like this very formal evil. And it's just, it's like the face of what you like. You say, oh, okay, it's a Nazi. Yeah. Well, this is the Nazi. And it's like what you would see in like the, the typical British villain mm -hmm. kind of thing. Bond villain, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. But it's like, this is what you get. Yeah. What you see is what you get. It's this, this figure that represents the military, whereas Vader is like this kind of independent, unique yeah. force of evil yeah and you know wrath but so it's cool that I, I don't know it's just something about that though as staying power it represents the military in of itself yeah and, and like the, the, and the that theme that you were just talking about that's interwoven with the whole fabric of the show I'm, I'm not saying every episode's a banger but i enjoy this show i enjoy because you fall in love with the family like the characters mm -hmm. like it's like oh oh now we're going to do this shitty thing and this shitty episode but like you love it because you love them that's yeah. how i feel about this show you're following a team it's kind of like ninja turtles yeah where you're not every adventure is like a banger. fantastic, yeah. but it's great because of their interactions. And, that, and that's and when you have something like that, you can go through the the, the good and the bad times. Yeah. What do you think about seeing Cut and Sue again? And we he joked that maybe he was pretty drunk during some of those reactions. He was, but you did remember them, right? I do. I yeah. do remember them um, because you had a few instances of. I wouldn't, they weren't all deserters, but for instance, the one that um, he had amnesia. That was a great fucking episode. Yeah. Right? And he discovered who he was and he fought to help them get out of there and he ended up dying to save them. But well, we thought he died. Did he die? Well, I mean, it looked like he died. I, mean, I thought he was like, like in the middle of all those droids and they were all gunning him down. Yeah. And I thought they, I don't know if we ever saw him again. He was like a he was fucking. Command, I thought it was Commander. He was from Wolfpack, wasn't he? For some reason, I thought. I'm not was, sure. I just remember he was working as a fucking um, like a diner guy. He was a like a busboy. Like a what the hell you call those people? I can't remember the term. Get the old British term. But the, the, he was like washing dishes yeah. and shit. And in this guy's diner. You think like you're a fucking super soldier, yeah. known from like the best bounty hunter. You're working fucking washing dishes. Yeah, he's hit it. the guy had to I think I'm destined for more. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, was it that guy? Yeah. Uh, cut. Were there any others that they really established? Were not exactly. At this point, you have Rex, the Bad Batch, and well, the only ones that really, other than people we know in the Kenobi, like once they disbanded the, yeah. the, I mean, the force. That those answers will get flushed out. Yeah, there is there is an answer to that. Yeah, yes. Sort of but yes, there is. Uh, there are you'll, more that you'll see. Well, that. I, I'm saying though that we don't know of any more right now yeah you wouldn't in this show but i do know from other things i've seen that you will see in the future yeah but i'm saying right now yeah right now as of now from what i know there yeah. are no others than cut correct the dude that died unless i'm also forgetting as well right. but yeah we have basically the empire saying hey turn in your invalid money you get republic credits so we'll give you a chain code that's how generous we are you yeah. know what i mean it's like, we'll help so you. it's kind of like this weird apocalyptic thing it's like everyone's registering their dna now it's which that, that, beast, that's essentially what the chain code thing it's is mark of the beast. yeah i mean essentially yeah i'm sure they they have that in mind yeah i mean and that's how um din jaren tracks his people like he has their chain code which is something only the government has mm -hmm. but like bounty hunters are able to get it somehow well, at that point with him I mean, they just transfer the chain code to the new republic like, we're gonna use chain codes too well i mean we've he, seen he, he's living in the red the it, era that yeah. the empire's defunct in a surprising move like you figured well, Filoni wouldn't the do republic this is not. but the republic isn't perfect yeah i mean it's still fledging but it yeah they've we've it showed us that kind of like um the bad guys are the underdogs you know what mm -hmm. i mean well they're insurgents yeah. yeah yeah anyways this is just episode two i think people who've watched my reactions they know how much i love this show but you know kind of like uh some stuff you've seen it you know season one is is, is season one so <laughs> doesn't mean there's not good stuff i don't yeah. know so far i'm liking it so no no I, no complaints yeah okay good anyways guys right here make sure you drop a comment down below check us out on patreon to see the full length of cut reaction to this and all the things that we do also the next four weeks early access right here